Howdy, Travis from Know How here. I am super excited to tell you about the biggest feature that we have launched in Know How in almost a year. It takes the power of our artificial intelligence driven magic search and expands the scope far beyond your SOPs and processes to all of your documents, all of your SLAs, PDFs, policies, anything that you want your employees to know, you now have access to with Magic Docs. Let me show you exactly how it works. All right, so we're on Know How here, and uh, particularly astute users will know that we have a new button here called Files. So if I click Files, this is going to take me to Magic Docs. Now, just a little note, you're going to see here that this says Beta. That's because we're still testing out this feature. And so by default, it's not active for every hub yet. So if you want access to this and you don't yet have it, you just have to let us know and we'll activate it for your hub. But once this feature has been enabled, you can see here we have tons of files that my team now has access to. And so if I wanted to add a file to this list, all I do is click upload, select the file I want. In this case, I have this Florida building code PDF, which has just a ton of information in it. I'll add that. And then I've got one additional screen where I can select some custom settings. I can adjust who will have access to this file. Got a bunch of options here and I can determine if I want to make it searchable or not. So what does this mean? If searchable is selected, then this file is going to be read by our artificial intelligence, Howie, and then Howie is going to include the information in this file in Magic Search results. So when an employee is searching through Magic Search, they don't have to find this specific file first and then hit Control F and try to find the information they're looking for. They just ask our artificial intelligence, Howie, a question, and then Howie is going to search through all of your company's SOPs and processes and every file that has this searchable toggle enabled in order to try to find the right answer. Click Upload, and just like that, that file is going to be added to Howie's knowledge base when he's answering employee questions. Let's test it out with a few files. So you can see I have a bunch of files here. A great use case for Magic Docs is massive operator's manuals, like you see here. This quick start guide, oh boy, there is a lot to digest here. Way easier would be just to ask our AI a question based on the content of this process. So I can just ask, what kind of outlet can I use? I don't even need to specify in this case that I'm asking about a HEPA 700 because I'm in the HEPA 700's operator's manual. And you can see here, my boy Howie gave me a good answer. You can power the device by plugging it into a standard 115 volt GFCI protected outlet. Shows citations, and in this case you can see step three, plug into a standard 115 volt GFCI protected outlet. Perfect, I just got that answer super quickly. Let's ask a little bit more complicated one. I've got this giant New York State asbestos code <laughs> that's 124 pages long. There's a good table of contents here. There's a glossary. This is a meaty document. What happens if you just put this New York State document in front of a new employee and ask them to memorize it all? Well, as you say in New York, they're going to forget about it. My apologies to all New Yorkers for that last joke. But what we need to do is be able to harness all the information in this document and put it at the fingertips of your staff. And so I'm just going to ask my boy Howie, how long is an asbestos handling license valid for? The information is somewhere in these 124 pages, but I would not have time to search it up. So I'm just going to ask Howie how he's read the entire process and he's going to answer it right in front of me here. An asbestos handling license is valid for one year from the date of issuance. Perfect. And you can see, brings me up right here. Number seven, an asbestos handling license shall be valid for a period of one year from the date of issuance. Incredible. How much time did that just save me? 
Okay, I'm gonna show you one more thing, and this is not just searching within this document, but combining the information within this document from the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of processes also in your hub to form one massive knowledge base. Let's say I'm an employee. This works on mobile or on desktop. I'm not going to look within a specific document. I just have a question that needs answering. And that question is, where can I find this serial number on a total zone ozone generator? Again, I don't even wanna find the specific document. I just need the answer. Howie's already got me covered here. Hey Travis, the serial number for the total zone ozone generator is located on the bottom of the case. It should be written along with the model number and it brings me to the manual that I uploaded. In this case, my boy Howie knows what I'm looking for and he's suggesting this and is going to bring me to exactly where that answer is as well. Incredible. Magic Docs is set to radically transform how easy it is for you to get information into the hands of your staff so they can work more competently and confidently than ever before. Not only that, it makes it easier than ever to get set up with know-how and give your employees the information they need to do their jobs well. You're no longer creating and defining your SOPs. It starts with just adding your documents, your PDFs, your SLAs into Magic Docs and starting from there. If you want more information on how your staff can work competently and confidently and put the power of Magic Docs, Magic Search, and every other of KnowHow's AI-driven features in the hands of your staff, head to trynowhow.com. If you're a KnowHow customer and you don't yet have the power of Magic Docs in your hub, reach out to us and we would love to enable it for you. Thanks.